Uh, the best method to prevent the coronavirus is hand washing. Hand washing has always been the key thing in order to prevent anything. Uh, the one thing I teach the phlebotomy students is whenever before you touch a patient, before you do anything, you should wash your hands. And the most important thing people forget is when you wash your hands to prevent the uh, spread of disease, viruses, bacteria, or any microorganisms, is it needs to be more than 20 seconds. And we're talking about the lathering part. According uh, to the CDC and according to some of the uh, reports I read, the face mask is only effective for the people who are infected uh, so they won't spread it. And people who are not infected with the coronavirus or have been exposed to it, it doesn't really do much uh, for them. It's just for the people who have been exposed to it. So the population that affects uh, uh, mostly is people, uh, the elderly, uh, because they have a weak immune system, or anyone that uh, has been affected with a disease that has depressed their immune system, so it affects them uh, mostly because they don't have uh, they don't have the factors in their body to fight off the virus and keep it at bay. So right now we're going to demonstrate. Uh, this is Naika. Uh, this is one of my phlebotomy students. Uh, she's going to de demonstrate the proper way of washing her hands. First, she's gonna do is turn on the faucet, let the water run. She's gonna check the temperature of the water, make sure it's lukewarm. Lukewarm is pretty good. Um, so it's right in the middle uh, between the temperatures. Once she checks the temperature, uh, then she's gonna grab some soap. Now, the whole 20 seconds is lathering. It's not you turning on the faucet, anything gets a lathering part, it's gonna be 20 seconds. And if you can, if you don't know how long 20 seconds is, um, Sing the happy birthday song in your head. And that will be. So she's gonna lather. She's gonna lather in the front. And so then she's gonna get the back and she's gonna rub the fingers uh, in the back like this. Now the dirtiest part on the hand and the one that spreads the most uh, microorganisms is the nails. And as she's doing, demonstrating right now, that's how you properly will scrub the dirt, uh, the debris under your nails. Uh, as she's demonstrating right now uh, with the nails, okay. And she'll go up, up to about her uh, wrist. So this is just a regular hand washing anyone could do. With surgical hand washing, obviously you go up to the elbow and it takes much longer, that's about two minutes. But this one anyone could do using the bathroom, being at home, if they want to keep their hands uh, clean. And then once 20 seconds is over, she's gonna let the water run over the soap, uh, pretty much. And if you notice, her hands are down, because uh, the reason why, because the water could come down. If her hands were up, then the water that was pretty much on her hands could uh, go to the parts that she hasn't cleaned. And then she will have to start all over again. And once the soap comes off her hand, she's gonna grab some paper towels. And notice the faucet is still on. So, because people forget after they wash their hands, they turn off the faucet with their uh, clean hands, and that's bacteria on it. So after she dries her hands, She's gonna get. She's gonna toss the wet paper towels out. And if you notice, the water is still running because uh, she's gonna come back and she's gonna pick up some dry paper towels and she's gonna turn off the faucet with a dry paper towel, so she will not contaminate her hands again. And then she's gonna dispose of that. And that is the proper way of washing hands. And uh, one other key thing is with hand sanitizers. I know people are big on hand sanitizers. After three hand sanitizer, you should wash your hands. So if you use hand sanitizer three times in a row, wash your hands. But washing your hands is the most effective method to prevent the spread of uh, germs, disease.